Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Storytime at the Zoo. This is Miss Lori, and you know what? Today's story is called The Hat. Hmm, let's see which animal is wearing the hat today. Winter was on the way, and Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. There it goes. Curious Hedgy found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled out the stocking, it was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgy thought. There he's sneaking in. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Edgy? Why, it's my new hat. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen had cocked her head as if she had an idea. And off she ran. Oh, my kind of looking at Hedgie going, what's going on? Hedgie saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that. The hedgehog was flipped his gizzard. Well, laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran too. Look, goodness sake. Gracia, oh, there's that little pork. There it is. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgy tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat. And guess what? He ran off too. My gracious, he went up a tree. What is happening? The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgie in a patch of brambles. Hedgie, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look. She barked and her puppies yelped and giggled. But, Hedgie said, I'll be cozy and dry when it snows. And the farm dog's ears perked up. And what happened? You guessed it. She ran off too. Oh my. Where are all of these animals going? Oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgie? The mother pig asked. Well, making my sure that my hat doesn't fall off and an icy wind blows up. Oh, I see, said the mama pig. And she ran off too. <sighs> Goodness. Hedgy, what is this ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgy. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgy shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgy was usually very friendly, but not now. And off the pony ran. Hedgy just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit into his den. Oh, look. He's not going to fit into his den. 
That big hat's going to cause some problems. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stalking in her hand. Come back, you silly little hedgehog, she called. Oh, no, Hedgy thought. Even the girl is laughing at me. Oh, she's got the other stalking. She's trying to follow Edgy. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgy's head. You're ridiculous, little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgy headed for his den and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. Woolens mean clothing. Where could all of her clothing go? Oh, the animals had taken them and each one was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Goodness sake, there's the pony and the pig, and the dog, and the cat, and the gander, and the chicken. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgy reached his den. How ridiculous they look, Hedgy said. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? There they go, running off. Oh, my. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, Miss Jessica is going to show you a hedgehog that we have here at the zoo. Until next time, have a good day. Bye. Welcome back, friends. And thank you, Miss Lori, for reading the book The Hat with the hedgehog wearing some funny hats and the other animals thinking they should wear hats as well. I have my education ambassador here, Miss Cricket, and she is an African pygmy hedgehog, but she does not wear hats. She does not get that pleasure of wearing them. Now, she actually is from Africa, and you would find them in the semi-arid or grasslands in Africa. And you can actually hear her snorting and hissing right now. Hedgehogs have um, a lot of different vocal that they can do. And that's another form of their defense, is if you touch them, they're going to hop because these spines are very, very pokey. And that's what she's trying to do is because she's startled by me touching her and doesn't want to be touched. So she decides that she's going to spine me so that I leave her alone. If a predator happens to come along, these help her um, so that whenever they come and they try to bite at her or uh, use their paws, She's going to spine them, and she can actually roll up into a tight spy, um, ball excuse me, as well to protect her soft underparts. Their bellies are actually very, very soft and don't have any spines. Now, a really fun fact about these guys is they are actually born with their spines, um, but they are born very, very soft, and their skin is actually filled with a fluid. And within about two to three days, they shed those. It's called a quilling process and then they grow their adult quills in and they keep those for life. A lot of people think that the hedgehogs can lose their spines just like porcupines can lose their quills, but these guys cannot. In the wild, they eat a variety of different things, basically anything they could come across, but the majority of their diet is going to be insects, but they'll also eat small snakes, rodents, amphibians, and fruits, nuts, fungi and roots that they would come across. When they do have what they call hedgehoglets or hoglets, they have about two to 10. And like I said, they're born with their quills and then they are, after a few weeks, they are out on their own in the wild. Miss Cricket, there she goes. Her nose is coming out a little bit. Oh, well, it went back in. Um, let's see. They are called the, um, sometimes nicknamed the four-toed hedgehog. If you look right here at her toes back here, she actually has a foot out. They have five toes on the front and four toes in the back. So that's where they get that nickname from. 
Now these guys live solitary, which means all by themselves usually. But if you do find a couple of them together, it's got a really fun word and it's called a prickle. So if you guys have any questions about Miss Cricket here, I would encourage you to send us, uh, I'm sorry, comment below and we will be happy to answer your questions. And thank you and we'll see you next time.